Hi guys, I want to do a quick video on rosacea. Uh, someone asked a question, what do you do for rosacea? Okay, so I want to talk about, first of all, what are the big mistakes that people make and then what to do. Um, there's been a huge connection between rosacea, which is uh, your skin, your cheeks become really red and it looks like there's broken blood vessels. Uh, so you have this, uh, it almost looks like a rash on, on your cheeks, okay? Uh, there's a huge connection um, to something called SIBO, okay? Small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. Okay, this is a situation where you have bacteria that normally should be in the large colon is now growing into the small intestine, okay? And it's growing where it should not be. You should not have a lot of bacteria in the small intestine. Most of it should be in the large colon. And um, here's what you don't wanna do. You don't wanna start adding probiotics, why? because you already have too many microbes. Probiotics are gonna give you more microbes, so you don't wanna add more to the mix. So this is a, a big fat no-no, okay? And then you also don't wanna add fiber, because guess what? These microbes that are in the small intestine eat fiber. So adding more fiber is gonna be really a bad idea. Okay, so here's, here's what we need to do. You need to cut down the amount of vegetables that you're consuming right now, okay? This is one of the reasons why the carnivore diet actually helps people with digestive problems because the microbes don't have anything to eat. And if you have an overgrowth and you do all proteins, animal proteins, um, it can actually help balance uh, some of the microbial gut that's actually an overgrowth situation. But the point is you wanna go um, smaller amount of vegetables. You can have some, but just don't, add too much because you're gonna feed the microbes. And we're trying to get rid of these, this microbial overgrowth. Uh, one of the most important things to do is right down here, to acidify the stomach because these microbes can't live in an acid environment. So ab adding apple cider vinegar uh, and betaine hydrochloride would be essential. And you can get them in tablets, you can get them even combined. And I would probably do um, probably like eight to nine tablets per meal. Why? Because we want to acidify the stomach. In this way, um, it'll actually help kill off some of these microbes. Um, the other thing is the purpose of the stomach uh, acid is to kill off microbes in the food. So if your stomach acids are low going into this, even before you get it, there's certain microbes that can pass through the stomach without being killed, grow in the small intestine where they shouldn't. Okay, so one of the causes of this is basically low stomach acid. And that could come from a number of things, antibiotics, antiacids, junk food, uh, taking too much baking soda, okay? A lot of people use that thinking it's a real good thing. Um, how do you know if you have low stomach acids? Well, you probably have heartburn or acid reflux because if there's not enough, the valve won't close and the acid will kind of come up through that little valve there. Now, um, taking clove, oregano, and garlic is really a great natural antibiotic, which will actually kill some of the unfriendly uh, candida, bacteria, and uh, pathogens in there. So you wanna consume these right here, that will help you. The other thing that's really important is to do intermittent fasting. Why? Because there's a certain process that happens between the meals that actually goes into the gut and cleans any residue of food and particles and pushes it down into the digestive tract into the large bowel. Um, but if you're eating too frequently, it never, you never have the chance to do that. So if you do longer intermittent fasting, uh, this is a very positive thing to clean out the gut, okay? Very, very important. And one more point about this is the real problem with this is that not only are you gonna get excess gas, bloating, um, and even kind of pain in your stomach, but you're gonna get malnutrition because these microbes are gonna pretty much eat a lot of your food that are in the small intestine, so you don't have a chance to absorb them. So you're eating food, yet you're hungry right after you eat, and you're not gonna be satisfied. So anyway, these are two things you shouldn't do, and these are things you should do to help this condition right here. Thanks for watching. So we've been getting a lot of success stories, but I don't have your success story yet. So click the link down below, and upload your before and after. I wanna actually hear about your success story. I wanna see your before and afters. And every week we do featured success stories. So click the link down below and share your success.